When you look at Jay Pillay's CV, you see the perfect captain of industry with qualifications in engineering, commerce and management. Despite this, he's discovered his ikigai in a field that puts technology in the service of art. And Karisha went off to find out why he's a top photographer. Wedding photography has evolved from its early days of stiffly posed couples and family groups to a field that encompasses everything from candid grab shots and event documentation to fashion work that wouldn't look out of place in a glossy international monthly. Clients expect spectacular wedding portfolios and top league photographers combine technology, skill and artistry to deliver the goods. Jay Pillay is one of them. And while most people you meet on a beach in the early morning are there to fish, catch a wave or simply to enjoy the fresh air, he's out to capture a set of stunning images. Using the surf and sky as a backdrop to complement the beauty of his model and her garments, he's computing every detail in the frame to arrange colour, form and texture in an eye-catching composition. It's not the easiest of environments for a photographer to work in with wind, sand and salt spray pummeling people and equipment. But Jay keeps his team and himself motivated until he's satisfied that the photos he had planned are stored safely on the memory card. As the sun rises, the light becomes harsher and it's time to wrap the shoot and check the results. Hey Jay, how are you? Hey Kirsha, how so are you nice doing? nice to see you. Same here, same here. I can see I'm catching you. Yeah, you just caught us at the end of a beautiful sunrise shoot with our gorgeous model. Just getting back to the studio now to edit some pictures. You want to join? I'd love to. Let's, Let's go. go. In addition to a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering, Jay holds a BCom and an MBA and worked as an engineer and business analyst for two major players in the energy sector before deciding to make a career of photography. So we've just uploaded all the images and we're going to color them down and see which ones we like. Okay. Alright, so this is the first shot of the day. Oh, it's beautiful. We've captured the sun really well. I love that. I'm just going to pick that for further editing. You can pick this as well. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So how did you get into photography? Kirusha, I think it started from my father. I was kind of like the designated candid photographer. <laughs> going on trips and I think the passion just grew from there. So looking back now, do you think that you always had the eye? I would love to think so, yes. I'm a chemical engineer by profession. The technical aspects of photography come kind of second nature to me. It was just honing in the skills when it came to the creative aspects, posing, capturing the beauty of the environment and of the subject. It's something that you learn over time and it's something that I've honed over the years. So I see that you do a lot of wedding photography. What is your favorite moment to capture? In weddings, I would say it's the candors and those photojournalistic moments when the couple have tied the knot officially and seeing the result in their eyes afterwards and when you show them the image is just something truly inspirational for me. And Jay, do you prefer to shoot on location? Location shooting does bring about a lot of challenges, but I would like to think I, I thrive in that challenge. I also do a bit of studio shooting. In the studio, you have much more control over your shooting factors and the photography that goes into it. I actually have a studio. Would you like to see? Yes, let's go. Jay's approach combines the technical elements of exposure and composition with the more subjective aspects of pose and expression. Okay, so Kirisha, welcome to my studio. It's lovely. It's pretty awesome. This is where the client's vision comes to life because we can really control things in a studio. Most of the brides and the grooms haven't even had a photo shoot done before. So a lot of it is direction from myself, getting them out of their shot. Is there a particular trick that you use in order for them to relax? You generally need to make yourself the fool. If you make yourself the laughing stock out of the scene, everything is just so much easier. Now on the other hand, working with a model who doesn't need as much direction, you're able to be more creative, I assume. So what do you look for? There's a couple of things we look for in a model. Generally, their personality, their persona that needs to come through in the camera. And they need to have that charisma. And naturally, they need to be beautiful. Speaking of beauty, would you mind if I could capture a few shots of you in the studio? <laughs> okay. Awesome, let's do it. Having checked his lighting, Jay could focus on his subject and human interaction is an important part of his craft. Yeah, Kirusha, the model and the photographer formed a team with Jay talking Kurusha through minor adjustments in pose and expression to catch a oh, range beautiful. of moods okay, and looks. Awesome, I love that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Let's have a look, shall we? I'd love to. Oh, I love that one, hey? That's stunning. I love the pose. 
Mm, Beautiful. Really lovely. Thank you. Really nice. What has been your most memorable either person to shoot or location? Being an international photographer is pretty much the dream. So I've had the privilege of shooting a wedding in Paris. I recently came back from Ireland and Iceland and getting to experience that and different cultures, different environments and the beauty that different people bring is truly a magnificent experience for me. What is your advice to anybody that wants to keep their day job but also wants to pursue their passion as you have? Photography is quite onerous in terms of the costs and the different lenses and the cameras and stuff, so it's a progression over time. But the better you get, the more beautiful the image is to the client. Remember that motivation gets you going, but dedication keeps you going. And I have no doubt that whoever wants to pursue whatever their dream is will be a success. Jay, thank you so much for spending the day with me. Uh, thank you. I can't thank you guys enough for inviting me to be part of the Mela journey. Wedding photographers don't have the luxury of a reshoot, so when Jay's on location, he has to get it right first time. His work captures the magic of the moment at a major point in the narrative of a relationship. And if a picture tells a story, Jay's images speak poetry.